Hey, what's up guys? Christian over at Enfit Car Stereo. Uh, today we're in our Volkswagen Tiguan. We're actually in our Turo's Volkswagen Tiguan. And we're going to show you our plug and play amplifier. Plugs right in, no wires cut, using the factory wiring for the speakers and the power. Alright guys, first thing you're going to do is the side panel on the right side of the car has to come off. So we're going to use an Enfig PPT12345 set. Uh, we're going to use a flat one um, to pop it off. Uh, go ahead Arturo. Uh, just so you know, Arturo's not a professional installer. This is actually his car. Arturo's my friend. This is such an easy install to do, but hard to film. So I was like, you know what? You do it and let me film it. Alright, on the side there's going to be a T20 torque screw right where he's at. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Save all your judgments. It's his car and he's not professional. So anything you got to say, you say to his face. All right, guys. Now here we are under the glove box. Um, I'm actually going to take off these two screws because, because of the way we're set. So under your glove box, there's three screws. Oh, let me see. There's one right there. All right. And then... Oh, it's bright down here. Oops. That's two. All right. Let me see if I can get the third without losing my vision in this bright light. I have no idea. So I'm going to use my finger to feel it out. And that's the third one at this point if you have a box that's about 12 inch high it's nice to put it here to support it if not nothing can go wrong all right guys quick edit because i forgot to put it in there make sure you hit eject and there's no cds in here because if you turn this thing around with a cd in there it's bye bye to the cd drive all right guys i'm not sure what happened but somehow i ended up doing the install um you can take this out before you drop the glove box you probably should before you do the screws on the bottom but we decided to do it this way uh, now you don't want to scratch up the top of the glove box so put something under it because when the radio comes out it's made out of metal these are nfig rrk2 radio removal keys all right i'm gonna go in here you're gonna hear it click all right and then the other that didn't click but you're supposed to hear it click heard it all right and then a little bit of pressure you see when it's in See how you can, it pushes back at you. All right, so you're gonna do outward pressure. And then, oh, see that one didn't click. There you go. All right, so now outward pressure and pull. That's it, all right. Let me just move this because it's in the way of my, it's in my way. All right, now we're gonna pull this out. Now on the side over here, oops, come on. You're gonna push this in and that releases the key. Do the same thing on the other side. All right. Here's all your wiring. Um, be careful when you pull out. Now, this has been out before. Our tour actually has our old version of this using the Pioneer amp. Um, so, just when you come, when you pull this out, just hold on to the wiring and pull because you don't. In case one of this this is stuck on something or there's something back there, you don't want to break off the connector. Okay. Let me uh, change the angle and I'll show you how to unplug everything. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is remove power because if it's unpowered, you can't blow anything up. So we're going to squeeze the bottom of this right here. And this little lever comes right up. All right, and then boom. When you pull out, pull out straight. Don't pop, 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 because that's just going to cause a problem. All right, now over here. Oh. All right, guys, I had to cut and edit real quick because... I forgot to tell you to take out the CD and that's what you saw before and blah, 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 blah. All right, see this right here, fiber optic port. Um, if you have something orange coming out of here, um, make sure, well, actually, while we're in the middle of this, orange coming out of here uh, on GTIs and stuff means you have a fiber optic amplifier. Um, just so you know, this is compatible with the Tiguan, Touareg. No, actually, you know, it, it probably is compatible with Touareg. I meant to say Atlas. Uh, Tiguan, Atlas, GTI, Jetta. It's compatible with all the Volkswagens, as long as you don't have an amplifier. So, on if you have orange coming out of here, most likely you have an amplifier. Also, over here, you see this brown connector? That's your speaker wires. So, if you look over here, I'm sure I'm gonna, yep. 
and you have nothing in there take a close look and there's nothing like if you had a if you had a GTI with Fender I think it's called you this is gone so this would be empty I'm not gonna take it out but so just make sure you have it um, if you have any questions whether or not you have an amplifier you know better ask us than than not all right, all right now over here we have the blue blue is usually GPS antenna uh, has a locking tab you pull it out and then push it in oh you can't see that big fat hands in the world you guys say something all right so blue maybe still push that so this comes out like so and then push it in it comes out this same thing see how it's it well that wasn't in all right this comes out boom like so those are usually pretty easy this one same thing up here does the same thing boom boom you're out like that all right now over here we have one of these is usb and the other one is a screen i believe yeah one is usb one is screen i forgot which one's which but so you're gonna push that in and wiggle don't just go crazy pulling because you'll break it but wiggle you don't want to pull hard and then snap this in two because that's not going to be fun to fix well that's it we're all done Ta-da! now the remaining screws in the glove box Alright guys, so next thing you're going to do is push, is drop the glove box. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here. Get that out of the way. Now, you can see it in the video, but you see this little tap right here? You pull on that. And there's one on each side. The other one's hard to see, but it would be a headache for me to show you both sides. See, I just did it with one hand. So if you have two hands free, you're good. Now once you do that, just don't worry about this. This is There's a little shock absorber here. Um, this is made to fall out of the hole so once you uh go to put it back in just put it in the hole and push it back in so all right let it drop now let me just the camera and show you two screws under here i'm going to show you this because you're going to have a panic attack when it happens so this thing just happens to fall off all right so what happens is that this goes in here you'll see there's little notches so i guess the wire goes in that way and that way then this little piece falls out this is the one that makes you pucker because you're good how does that go in just put it in with the fat side going in skinny side out make sure it's in there right it's hard to do with one hand well it's not hard to do with one hand it's just hard to do holding the camera can you guys even see that there we go all right there you go and then this just guide it in i would say something inappropriate but there's a lot of uh this isn't I expect a lot of females to watch this video, so. <laughs> See, there we go. We're working. Back to the install. Alright, guys, now's the easy part. There's one screw here and one screw here. Atlas should be the same thing. Close. Well, actually, I may not say that because I haven't done an Atlas in a while. Tell you the same thing, and, but it should be similar. We got one, and now we got two over here. Just make sure we don't lose that screw. All right, and now, okay, over here, let's see, over here, it hooks. So you kind of have to pull out of here, and then it's a good idea to close it. That's it. Let me zoom out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So before you. Is it after 5 o'clock? Yes, yeah, so the phone's ringing. Alright, there's a wire right here. I think I want you guys. I usually just unplug it, so you can just un reach over and unplug it. But let me put the screw back in. I think you guys can get it from the inside to keep from destroying the wire because it's very easy to break. All 
Where's the power tool? Oh. Alright, so we're going to not cut the video. See what happens. Uh, PPT5. We're going to jam it in here. Nah, that's impossible. Just bring it down. Did I put the screw back in? No. I just hooked it. So hook it. Now, when you hook it, bring it down. This connector, all you got to do is squeeze the ends. Let me bring it down and I'll show you. And once you squeeze it down, you can actually push the light. I'll bring it up. All right, it starts getting unprofessional at this point, but I'm getting tired. Let's put it out of focus real quick. All right, so you can just push the light right through like that and just go get it. All right, so me and Arturo are now switch spots so I can videotape him just dropping the actual glow box so you guys can see it. Go ahead, take it out. And that's it. And then you're already unplugged that, right? Is there a second one? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a second little plug on the side. I completely forgot about it. You got to unplug. Okay, so yeah, don't forget about that one. And then uh, just pull that out. And that's it, my friends. Let's go get the amp, and uh, I'll show you this difficult install. All right, so now we're already installed the, the amplifier. Our two in his hands has our harness. Uh, this is basically an extension cable um, that plugs into the factory wiring on one end. And then on the other end is made to plug into the, um, no, on the bottom. The bottom end is made to plug into your existing radio. So I don't know if I said it yet, but the part in the glove box is your radio and then displays in the middle. So, um, and then on the other connectors, we have two brown connectors. That's an in and out. All right. Now we sell this harness separately, but we do not sell it with the power wire sticking out like that. Um, cause I know you guys are going to try to hook up things that you're not supposed to. So we only sell it with the power wire for our plug and play kits. Um, so when you buy our kit, it comes with a different harness than the one that's on the website. All right. Um, and then the amplifier is going to come in a box. Um, the amplifier is up top. Um, the harness that's on the bottom, currently we modify their harnesses. I'm not sure what we're doing eventually. If we start selling enough of these, we'll just have the harnesses made and you'll get two harnesses in the box. But it comes with a fuse holder that you're not going to use. Um, also, it comes with a little band-aid looking thing. Um, that's a microphone. So we're not going to show you the EQ today, but once you install everything, you, you have to EQ the amplifier. Um, this amplifier has a um, built-in smart processor. So what it does is you play a specific track through your factory speakers, factory radio. The amplifier reads it and it recreates the levels that your factory radio can't recreate so it's really good um and like i said you don't need a fuse holder and then the little rubber band looking thing is to hold the microphone um usually you put it either in the center of the car or on your headrest um and the car listens the microphone listens to the car and automatically eqs your car for the its particular sound system and cabin so it's a great amplifier all right um all right so all you're gonna do right now is you're going to plug in the harness you're gonna make sure you open up the connector all right yep plug it in make sure you're lined up it's perfect that he got it wrong the first time because you got 50 50 chance of getting that right make sure it locks Yeah. yeah, give a little push. So most people will edit that. I don't want to edit that because if you're going to have problems at home, I want you to see this too. All right. And then, now, the brown connector comes with a male and a female. All right. So they plug into each other. But in the amplifier, is going to come a male and a female that plugs into this harness. Yep. See? So male goes to female, female goes to male. That's the power one. There you go. Now there's also the power connector. Power connector, if you're going to notice, it has a blue connector, a blue wire on it. The blue wire is not used for this application, but we left it in the harness because it comes in the connector, so we just left it. So you're going to plug that in 
to our black and yellow. No, the, the black and yellow. Yep. So black goes to black. Boom. All right. Now, there's two other ends left, and those go into the amplifier. This is the current amplifier we're using. Um, I'm not talking about what amplifier we're using only because as years come and go, amplifier parts change. Like we had a different amplifier in this car, but now we're using this one. So as, as technology gets better, we may change it. So this is just an install video. So that plugs in. There's only one way to plug it in. Locking tab lined up. On this one, the locking tab goes towards the bottom. Oh, for you guys that are crazy, that the piece on the back over there that holds the screws, that's plastic. So if you're going to decide to drill it, I don't know you can do it in this car to mount it, but just be careful with that. Now, um, look up for a different video for settings and stuff. We're not going to go over that. Settings, you know, it's a separate video for this, That, but plug that into there. So this is the input coming from the radio. The other side was the output going to your speakers. Now, the amplifier, it's a little... So... I'm going to tell you right now, there's room above, like directly behind, yeah, no, but hold on, there's directly behind the, where your radio was, there's room to put it up there. The problem with there is that there's an air flap that opens and closes to let fresh air in, so if you're going to put it up there, be very, very careful that you secure it so it doesn't fall on the flap, because that'll ruin your air conditioning. My recommendation is put it on the right side, just like so. Yeah, just put it in there and then just find some way to zip tie it. And just zip tie it to a, a main harness and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay? And then now, just it's the reverse of everything, putting it back together. All right, real quick, I just wanted to show you how it was mounted. So I took the amplifier. If you look right there, there's a tiny little hole to the right of the bracket. So put that through the hole. Make sure you don't go around any of the cables when you zip tie it. And then on the bottom, it's hard to see. And on the bottom, we went around the metal bracket too. Um, don't. You can try to go around this plastic if you want, but I'm afraid because that's where. Hold that light. You can try to go here, but this is where the uh, glove box latches into. So I was afraid that that was going to cause a problem. So I just pretty much wrapped a zip tie around here, wrapped around the back, came around back in. So this thing is solid. Oops. It's not going anywhere. I have to worry about moving around. Else. If you're a complete psychopath, you can put a piece of foam in there, but that might also create heat. So uh, this is the part I was talking about. This opens and closes. So you want to make sure you don't get anything in there. Because um, you can definitely go up here. But the problem with going up here. Let me just make sure you're looking right. If you go up here, it can fall in here and cause damage to your air conditioner. So I'll try to keep it away from this. This is a flap that opens the doors to let hot air in. Alright, let's put the... I'm tired. Let's put this away and let's go home. Um, Alright, so now we got the radio all the way in. It's time to push everything up. Uh, two wires to take care of are the light and also the little one for the switch over there the little one for the switch isn't a big deal because you can grab it from the bottom the light to be honest with you it's easier if you just pop it in like i just did and let it hang out in the glove box and drop this in the glove box and plug it in once the glove box is up because that way if you're struggling with it you're not going to rip this off okay it's just easier that way now the goal is to put all this wiring on top of this don't worry about the airbag the airbag shoots this way um, you don't have to, you know, since it comes this way towards you, you don't have to worry about it hitting an airbag wire. Don't go over the, um, it doesn't even give you the ability to go over the airbag, so don't worry about that. Alright, so here what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. Radio's all the way in already. Alright. Just grab this, make sure it's up top. 
It's a lot easier if you have someone else holding it. I don't have that option today. Okay, so we're gonna at the bottom just there's two little hooks. Make sure those hook on. Drop this in here. Oh, that didn't work out. So the wires get out of the way. Put a couple of screws in just to hold them in place. Careful on the right side, there's two different holes. You don't want to put it in the wrong hole. PG 13, people. PG 13. Alright, so let me go over here. And look what I did. I forgot to get the light. So we're going to see if I can get the light from down here. Yep, there it is. So I got the light. This little plug plugs into this little thing. There that goes. I don't know what that does. Oh, you know what that probably does? That probably tells the light to turn on when you open the glove box. So make sure you plug that in. Um, also back here, make sure these wires aren't hitting anything. I just check we're good. Now, make sure that when you push this up, you're not. You, you kind of got to get down and put this screw in. It's like the weirdest screw ever. Because you want it to be up, but it's actually across. Right? Get down and off of it. Makes life easier. Oh boy. Let's make the easy stuff complicated. Let's go. Get down. Let's get down. If you get down, you can see the hole. It's easier to see it. If you guys are pro, you can do it with the lights off. I need a little bit of lighting. I'm getting old. You know. It is what it is. All right, there goes that. And then this plugs into here. Like I said, if you just drop it through, it makes it so much easier to take care of and just pop it in. Make sure that is right. This, ah, uh, this bottom corner didn't grab. So this bottom corner didn't end up where it's supposed to. So you might have to do it at home. We gotta readjust. Let me see if I can adjust by popping this corner only. Oh, you can see it from here. So I can see them from here where it's supposed to hook. Why is this not going? Oh, you know what? Arturo broke this. This is why this isn't going. <laughs> this is cracking too. Oops. There you go. That's why it's not going. Eh? All right. Let's uh. Let's go to new game plan. Since we're having problems. We can actually do it from here with this open. And we can see this hooking where it's uh that's the money shot. There you go. There you go. So 
put this in with the glove box down and you can see where those two little hooks are supposed to hook. It makes the job a gazillion times easier. I've probably done this job 10 times the first time I noticed that. Alright, there we go. So, wherever this just screws it. I'm going to leave this in the video because when you guys are sitting there and you want to punch a wall because this thing keeps falling and the stick goes flying, you realize that it happens to me too. Alright, so that's in. This is just slides right in. There's a little groove in here. Slide it into the groove. I'm not going to show you that because it's that easy. It's, it stands up by itself. And what would a video be without that? That's what she said. But you guys don't see if I actually have to go. I have all the camera wires around that I have to. So put this back in with the small piece facing outwards. All right. Put it in. This. You know what? You may curse at this, say it's a horrible design, but it's an almost impossible break. <laughs> so whoever designed this, good job. I'm making something that's unbreakable. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and we're all done. And don't forget the fourth one over here. All right, guys, that's it. Um, hopefully this video helped you. The amplifier and all the parts are on sale at nfitcarstereo.com. Uh, we sell, we install, we ship worldwide. The amplifiers, we can't really ship outside of the United States. Eventually, we may have um, extra parts where you can just buy the amp locally and we sell you the harnesses. But I don't know how we're doing that yet. So, um, nfitcarstereo.com. My name is Christian. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.